Hi guys, welcome to Microsoft Power Tools channel where you learn everything about analytics, productivity and automation. And in this series of videos, I'm going to be interviewing an industry expert who will be working us through how to become a data analyst. Join me as I make welcome, Debo Faladay. Hi Debo. <laughs> Hi Ola, what an introduction. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me, I'm really happy to be here. Alright, can you just tell us a brief about yourself? Um, okay, so my name is Debo, like Ola said, uh, my work as a business analyst, same as a data analyst um, at Fair Money. Um, before then, I've worked as a data analyst um, in an insurance firm, and before that, I've done some work as a business intelligence consultant, and before that, I have done work as a data analyst. So, I mean, I was spending about four, four and a half years there about. Guys, you see that uh, this guy is loaded with weight of experience and knowledge in this space. Before that, there's always a before after a before. <laughs> that, that, that's awesome. I'm so happy that we have such a valuable person in that space who is coming here today to talk to us about how to become a data analyst. And the question I will ask you today is, Debo, was it accidental or planned? I mean, your career as a business intelligence analyst. Um, so I didn't plan. I didn't plan this. Um, I knew I had finished school. Um, and when I finished school, I was not exactly sure of what I wanted to do. So, I mean, you'll get this quote from Steve Jobs where he says that you can't connect the dots looking for It's always when you look back. I didn't plan this. And when I left school, I, I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do. I knew I was good in programming, but I didn't want to be a programmer. So my dilemma was just there. Um, I've gone to work for um, my uncle. He had like this um, firm, and I joined like as an intern, data analysis intern, just before NYC. And while I was there, I met a particular guy they always bring in, he was a consultant. And seeing what he was doing, do some nice stuff on Excel, writing SQL. And like sometimes we'll sit down together, talk about logic, and then I'll see this guy write the query, and I'm like, guy. So I reached out to him like, ah, guy, how, what are you doing? Like, what do you do? Like, of course, I mean, I've not done anywhere, so I was like, okay, fine. Maybe this might be part. And I asked him, like, I said, oh, he's a business intelligence, and um, he's into business intelligence, and he works with MTN. I'm like, eh? And, I mean, for an IT guy, you know, telecoms is also, like, pretty big. So I was like, okay, 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 this is interesting. Like, so, guy, how did you go about this? How did you get in? I said, ah, yeah, he studied English language. Bro. What? I'm like, guy. <laughs> <laughs> I like English. Like I was trying to like connect it. Like it didn't connect in my head. English to doing something that, that an IT team should normally be doing. So I just sat down with him, asked him some further questions, like what skills he used and whatnot. So in discussing with him, he told me that he learned SQL. And even after like our discussion there, I started doing some research. I started looking for like business intelligence jobs, not because I wanted to apply. I was looking for like what skills do they want if I was going to apply for this kind of role. So I started looking at like you know what Nigerian jobs is in Nigerian jobs in food. They're like why well, like a lot. So I just check. I'll see <laughs> exactly. So I'll see. I'll see um, SQL. I'll see advanced Excel. I'll see um, R or Python. Um, knowledge of R or Python preferably and some other things. So I was like wow. Like okay, 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 okay. So this is cool. So that's what's like sort of like informed what I said learning. So I then took it on myself to start like picking up all of these skills that I was seeing on on this website requesting for business intelligence um, expert. And so that's how I started and that's how I, I got into the field. That, that's awesomely beautiful and a fascinating story indeed. You know, <laughs> all you're saying now is that literally someone who studied Yoruba, yes, the other person studied English and English and Yoruba their languages. Someone who studied Yoruba can yeah. also do business intelligence and so it's not something for maybe statistics students, mathematics or computer science. And yeah. truly your story inspires, especially how you chose to go this career, this career path by getting convinced by someone who studied languages in the university. And I want to say this to us, uh, you know, uh, listener now that nothing can limit you. You know, it's more of your passion, what if you really want to go this path, you can. You've seen people who you know study something not even relating to what we study today, and they're already doing well in that space. Then I'm going to ask you something, Deborah, because you mentioned knowledge of advanced Excel, this and that, 
uh, was is the knowledge of Excel also relevant in being a business intelligence analyst? Is it transferable as a skill? Okay, so so right now maybe a lot of people might not regard Excel as maybe a data analysis skill because I think people will now require that you just know Excel. Like it's a basic knowledge that you need to know. But if you know Excel, it is a very it's a, a skill that is easily transferable to do anything I want to do. The truth is that doing Excel, you do some form of data analysis. Some people do data analysis on Excel, but the world has gone into a place where you want to automate how you do your analysis. You don't want to just do small and then come back next month, do same again. Like that's why you have tools like Power BI. The, the, the analysis functions in Excel were already there before Power BI was created, but they wanted to separate function. And that's why Power BI was created. So it's the, the skills that you learn in Excel are very and easily trans. If you even know Excel, uh, you're one step to even being good with using Power BI. Wow. That's interesting. So for a lot of you who, you know, have started learning Excel or is good with Excel, it is just time to explore other visualization tools, Power BI, uh, Tableau, Metabase, and the rest of them. Click and rest. And I'm so happy to hear that, okay, Excel knowledge is also transparent. Awesome. Then I'm going to ask you uh, another question. What are the traits that, you know, that makes a successful data analyst. Um, I think I'll just pick one. I think it's one of the most important skills that you would have as a data analyst, and that is curiosity. You need to be absolutely curious. I mean, you would have a data analyst, and it could be in like four or five different fields. You could move across different sectors, different fields, oil and gas, whatever, whatever, whatever. But the truth is that once you have data and you're analyzing, the essence of analysis first is for you to be able to bet more questions analyze this to a certain point you can't just analyze and leave it and they ask you why is this like this and you can't answer the question you analyze to ask more you need to be curious like i'm able but with data you need to be you need to be able to go to the root of everything yeah you need to be able to go to the root of everything oh why is this like this you might not know which is why you have people in that field oh guy i know I analyze your data i saw this why is it like this so they you, oh we changed policy we changed strategy like you need to be able to answer what your data is telling you and that is the essence of analysis you need to be extremely curious curiosity doesn't kill a data analyst you need to be curious wow wow awesome so so i, I would then say that that follows the principle uh the first principle of thinking that elon musk often you know preached you know, yeah. asking that question, why, why, you know, till you get to the root of the problem. So I can call Elon Musk a great analyst, right? Analyst, yes, yes. Oh. You can call him an analyst. I don't know if you'll be good with data, but I mean, you'll call him an analyst, yes. <laughs> we'll give him an analyst award, you know, for, All right. <laughs> for being good with analysis. And that's it. Yeah. When you are curious, when you are asking that question, why, why, that's how you get to the root of, you know, the problem. And we can see how that bet new solutions all right so i'm going to ask on a you know lighter note um Debo, what will you say to someone who is thinking of giving up some guys are maybe trying to learn excel trying to learn power bi it just seems as if you know because i'm not working in a row now then that doesn't make sense i don't even know what it means what will you say to that person who is already giving up on this journey okay so when i started learning power bi and power query I wasn't currently using it at the organization where I was. I started learning Power Query and Power BI, I think a year, over a year before I ever had to like have like real industry usage. So I'll tell you that don't give up, continue doing it. You might not see where you would need it, but when the opportunity comes, you will be the most prepared because you have been doing these things. The moment you give up, I mean, whenever the opportunity comes, you are not, you just have to start learning. So get yourself equipped, get yourself prepared. And I mean, opportunity will only favor the person who is the most prepared. And when the opportunity arises, you'll be the best person to take advantage of it. So don't give up. Wow, that's a powerful parting word from Debo Palo. I just want to mention this, that this thing is not going to end yet. We're going to have Debo coming over to, coming to this same platform over and over again to walk us through how to even become more, uh, how to become a data analyst as an Amazon you know, guy. Take for example, the next video is going to be showing us through introduction to Power BI environment, introducing us to that environment so that we get familiar to it. And later on, start working us through industry use cases. 
This is why I don't want you to miss out all these videos. Please subscribe to this channel and ring the bell. That way you get notified immediately new videos drops. For now, we say a very big thank you to Dave of Alladay, you know, for your wealth of experience, for the short session, yet highly impactful that you've had with thank us. You. Thank you. Really appreciate having me. Thank you. Everyone, if you have other questions, word of encouragement, you want to pass comment about the session, engage in the comment session. We will also, you know, respond to you and answer your questions. Thank you and bye for now.